Okay guys, before we start this video, let me show you this book. So basically the author of this book gave me permission to show you the front page of the book. And it's not sponsored or anything, I just find this book really useful and I use some of the techniques in my previous video. So the book is called The Creative Wood Turner and it is written by Terry Martin. So put the link into the description, check it out. It's a really good book and you can learn a lot from it. Well, hello my friend. My name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. So when I started my YouTube channel, many of you subscribed to my channel because I was doing pieces like this and this. And recently I haven't done anything in that style. So it basically started to work with larger pieces like this. By the way, all of these projects on my YouTube channel, so you can check them out if you want to. But today, Let's make something, something like this, a little bit smaller, more intricate and maybe a little bit more technical. So let's go downstairs and let's get to it. Mustard piece. Oh, by the way, today is a wood turning holiday. It's only one day, unfortunately, but still my favorite holiday destination is my workshop. Or maybe a wood turning competition. That would be nice. That will come. That will come soon, believe me. Let's get to it. So we are going to use this piece of sported beach, really nice grain, to make something out of this. We will make some kind of fancy box. Fancy is the word that you have to watch for. So let's get to it. I cleaned it up and now it's round. But round is boring, I don't want it to be round. I think I am going to try something a bit less traditional. Shall I play with this tool a little bit more? This is the eccentric spiral chuck. Okay, so let's play a little bit with this one. And I am going to act like all confident and I know what I am doing, but I only used this one once before, so we see. So I'm not going to show you how to use this one because I have a video uploaded already. I put the link into the description if you want to know how to use this one, then watch that video. I am going to put this one off center completely, whatever it can take. So that's the furthest I can go to.
So I know I haven't been drawing recently really nice designs as previously did and I promise I will get back to that too but it's not easy to stay motivated when actually you don't get any success for it. None of my my drawing design got any success whatsoever on YouTube. Only a couple of hundred views and uh, you know where is the point for me to design if nobody cares about them. Okay, so one side is pretty much done. If you haven't noticed, I'm literally experimenting here. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Okay, so I take it off, turn it in 180 degree, and uh, try to do the other side exactly the same as this one. Five. Six. That should be 180 degrees. Alright, so I got some kind of shape, definitely. So I am going to put it into center again and I start to hollow it out. And when I hollowing it out, I can talk a little bit more. Let's get to it. So basically, when I post a video and uh, the project doesn't look like what I want it to look like, I feel bad and I feel kind of like embarrassed. And. Uh, you have to understand that not every project that I make will be the best project of my life because I don't have 25 years of experience. So every time I make a project, it's kind of like documenting my progress and my goal is to learn from this project. So the next video, video might be a little bit better and hopefully every 10th or 20th project will be the best project of my life. But I can promise you one thing. Every time I post a video, I will make an effort. So it is hollowed out, but only one half of the box is used, the space inside. So I'm wondering if I put it back to center position, can I hollow the rest of it out? Pretty much like a hollow form, pretty much like an off-center hollow form. Is it even possible? Let's, uh, let's find the limit of this technique. So if I switch this one on, there should be a smaller hole appear here because it's not breaking my fingers here. So hopefully I can hollow this side as well. See? So the chisel should just go in like this. Okay, that will work. So 
So now I am going to try to use the hollowing tool and there is a really good chance I am going to break this whole thing into million pieces. So wish me luck. Okay, look at this. Look at this. I was able to go under the rim. Can you see? Here. I am under the rim. I cannot go any any closer to the wall because this wall here is it's, it's about half a centimeter thick. So if I go any closer to the wall, I would go through. But this is definitely an off-centered hollow form, my friend. Have you ever seen anything like this? Okay, so let's make a lid here. And then we try to do something with this flat area. Because I'm not sure I want this to be flat. I am going to put the lid on and I am going to try to shape the whole thing while the lid is on. Okay, so I am going to make a simple base and I'm probably going to paint it back. And I have many of these rings lying around from different projects. Smaller one and I'm probably just going to grab one of these, use it, paint it black and that's going to be the handle. Let's do that. Mustard piece.